um, good win, you know, that got us to 10. And, um, you know, that was, that was good. We came and did what we had to do. I thought that, I thought that team fought. We knew they would, you know. I, I think, uh, you know, Shane and, and does a great job. I think Gus always has done a great job. Those defenses play hard. They're physical, and they didn't, uh, they never better than I. They were in it till the end and, and fought us. So credit to them. Uh, you know, I I would highlight our defense first. I mean, that, there again, this is, you know, whatever it is, 10 quarters without allowing a touchdown, three last games in the second half, we're not allowing it. So, man, we are, uh, you know, we're, we talk about all the time, limiting points, uh, play physical style, shut down the run. We were able to do that. We knew Jonathan uh, Taylor was, was going to be the guy we needed to shut down. We did that. They quarterback runs, they got us on a couple, but for overall, uh, we did what we needed to do, and we kept them out of that game. Offense, um, so much of it was really the way it went down early in the game. You know, we were able to kind of get that lead. Uh, two of those drives went down and uh, scored touchdowns, which was big, and then just kind of kept them at arm's length to where they couldn't quite get to us. Um, you know, and, and a lot of that was field position. We talked about going in the game. Field position was going to be big. We were going to lean on Jack Fox. And, boy, he came through for us. You know, what a, what a monster day, uh, pinning those guys inside the – 20 numerous times, um, you know. So overall team effort, good win. That's 10. Uh, and now we got to get ready for Chicago in a short week back home. Well, Look, it, when you talk about good red zone offenses, they run the ball. The, uh, red zone offenses that are that are probably top five, all of them can run the football, and that's what you have to be able to do. And then you can play pass all that. We shut down the run. We're really good at shutting down the run. So it starts there. But the amount of detail that goes into what we do, um, you know, AG every week, uh, the plan is good. It's something we talk about. It's something we preach. We know it's got to be part of our DNA. No different than stopping the run is not allowing points, which means you better be good in the red zone. So I think it's all encompassing. Coaches do a great job. And then our guys are just, they're taking it to heart, and uh, we're applying pressure, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, look, there, there's nothing, there is nothing easy about that, you know, and you get so many reps live during the week, and I say live, it's not like we're tackling, but full speed to, to get a look at it. Um, and, and then you get in there, you know, they, you gain the numbers back when the quarterback's a runner, right? You get a one for one. There is no more uh, extra man in the box, things like that. So if one person misfits the run, uh, you get hurt, and you know that happened early in the game. Just a couple, you know, one play here, one player here, one player here. We didn't quite fit it right, and all of a sudden they're on you, uh, and they get it. You know, he gets a, a ten-yard run, explosive run, something like that. So once we kind of calm down, talk about it, this is what we got to do. Um, you know, we were able to we were able to settle down and get it get it done, get it taken care of. And so it, re it was really as simple as that, man. Just handling your business. Now, it doesn't mean there's anything easy about it. I mean, this guy's a load. Uh, and with Jonathan back there, you know, with the option of, of that and then his ability to push it down the field, we, you know, did what we had to do. So, you know, that was – we asked a lot of our defense today, and they did a great job. Uh, look, I, I do think there again, it, it starts with AG and that staff and then those players, man. We've been around each other long enough. They've been around each other to know exactly what we're looking for. We have an identity about us. We know the critical factors uh, as it pertains to winning, and those guys take that stuff serious. And so uh, – and we take next man up serious. You know, those guys know. It's, it's why we, in practice, those guys get real reps. We don't just uh, not let some of the next man up get in there and get real reps with our guys, you know. Um, and that's what we've been able to do. And, and then I think we pay, play pretty complimentary, uh, you know, football, really. You know, it's, it's, you know, and I think that's a sign of a pretty good team is when defense needs it, the offense shows up and vice versa. And special teams is the, the great counterbalance for us and has really helped us out when we need it. So, um, you know, it's just we're, we're playing good defense right now. And, look, I would say that we got a bunch of guys that are, you know, they're pretty gritty guys, man. They play hard. Uh, they run. They hit. 
Uh, they're pretty smart guys, um, and they do what what we ask them to do, and they 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 go all out doing it. So normally you'll you're going to have you'll always have a chance to play pretty good when when you have guys that'll that'll do that. Yeah, I mean, we'll we'll see. You know, so much of this, I, I'm you know, I'm not going to know really. You know, the four, you know, obviously Leaf and and Dave Montgomery, uh, Deck Deck was able to come back out, but then we pulled him again uh, late. Um, then um, yeah, and Carlton, you know, so you know, I I don't know. I I feel okay about three of those guys. Leaf could be a little bit a little bit more serious, but. But even with that, that doesn't mean any of those guys are going to be ready for Thursday. So I just don't know. So, yeah, it, it'll, but, but look, I don't know Chicago's deal yet. I don't know what they're dealing with, but I'm, I'm sure they've got injuries. You know, everybody's got them. And, you know, the league doesn't care. They do the schedule, and we play this, and we roll, you know. And then seven days later, we got Green Bay. So be it, man. And uh, that's, that's the way it rolls. And uh, we'll be ready. We'll have our unit ready to go Thursday, back home, Thanksgiving, Division opponent, and uh, we'll be locked in and ready to roll. You guys are really successful on third and medium long run because I think it's better than anybody in the league at it. Like, how do you know when to pull that trigger, even when teams kind of expect that from you guys? Um, you know, I, I just look. I, I give I give Ben a lot of credit. You know, Ben Ben looks at a, a number of things. Um, you know, as as it pertains to to that run and pass, and what what gives us the best chance to have success and um, and I think it, it kind of starts there, and that's another one of those things. It's a mentality, you know. It's kind of one of the things we do here. And if we really believe we can, we can do it and get it, we'll do it. And it's really not just a throwaway for us. Like, we really believe if we're going to call it on third and seven, we're going to get the first or third and eight or whatever it is. I mean, that's um, – but it's been good for us. It's a curveball, right? It's a changeup. And uh, so it's, it's paying dividends for us. Yeah, I, I I think we're so locked in and the here and now, you know, and that it's it's hard to. It's a little bit like last year, man. You you get through it, and then maybe you can take a breath and turn around and look behind you and see what you did. But right now, we're we're just going, we're rolling. Um, the one that I was, because um, I did read the this this morning was about, um, you know, wins on the road, and I don't know what we are five and zero, six and zero this year, whatever, but. But it did, it gave me a flashback to 21, excuse me, 22. And at that point, we were 0-11-1 and on the road, 0-11-1. And, and, uh, and just thinking about that, and, and now I think we're 16-5 and since then. You know, and just that group of guys, you know, I said something in the locker room about it and looking at golf and Frank and Deck and Sewell and, you know, Aleem and Saint, you know, and it's like, man, you remember that. Um, but all of those guys are responsible for, for the flip. Everybody that's in that locker room is responsible for it. And, you know, it says a lot. If you can win on the road, you're normally a pretty good team. And we can win on the road. Um, and anyway, we're, we're in a good place. And, and we just, we're just playing ball, trying to get the next win. And this one is going to be huge. You know, the division opponent, it's, it's a big one. You know, you can sit around here and, you know, it's great. Win another, we're all happy. But you lose a division game and all of a sudden, man, uh, it doesn't feel real good. And Minnesota and, and Green Bay are just sitting right there. And, it, and Chicago's not out of this either. So this is, uh, this is a big this is a big week. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like that was um, – I, I didn't – I guess I didn't put really any stock in it, Dave. You know, I, I didn't. That doesn't shock me. Like, I think he could take a load uh, like David can, you know. Um, and no matter if you didn't have one or the other, you're still going to you're still gonna use somebody just to kind of take some of the, the load off of those guys. But I thought he did, did a good job, man. You know, those were some hard yards he got. 
um, in there, and so that was good to see. But I'm not surprised. I'm really not. Okay. Really? Five minutes left. Wow.